Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to show you how to set up free delivery on your Fastos e-commerce website builder package. So let's get started. Now you'll need to be logged into the store section of your package which is where I am now and we're going to go to shipping and pickup and it's under it's under the shipping section we need to go to and the first thing you're going to need to do is choose your carrier um, but at the moment I've only got Royal Mail set up and GLS but you can set up other carriers through there too if that's who you use but we've got another guide on how to do that so I won't be covering it in this video. So now we've got a couple of options for free shipping here and um, generally I'd say it's easier to set it up under conditional free shipping just because it gives you a few more options we could set it up under free shipping um, but basically you can limit it by subtotal so you could say you've got to spend £30 to get this option but then you'd have to set up another delivery method for any orders under £30 so if you want to use um, say spend a certain amount to get free shipping it's generally easier to use conditional free shipping so I'm going to leave this as standard shipping because I'm going to say in my, in my uh, store, spend £30 and get free shipping basically. But you can set up loads of different um, loads of tiers if you want to. So we could say 0 to 14 99 for example. And we could say uh, it's going to cost you £5. And at the moment, anyone who spends £15 and up will get it for free. But we wanted to add it as free delivery over 30 So we're going to set that to... Slightly cheaper there, three pounds between that amount, and then if we add row, we would say, oh no, that one hasn't actually added. Sorry, uh, let's go twenty nine ninety nine. No, not two thousand and ninety nine. There we go, and you can see now that's added there, thirty pounds and up, just because it's a penny over that amount, and we want that to be free. So there we go. And we can, all, like I say, you can do as many tiers as you want there, depending on your business. So table is going to be based on subtotal or weight. So you could set that for weight. Uh, we're going to leave that as subtotal. It's just generally easier. But if you do sell by weight, then you can set delivery by weight as well. So um, and we can again, we can set a different range. Again, it gets quite quite uh, there's quite a lot of in-depth things there. But if you're um, if you if you are selling something that's quite heavy, for example, um, you might want to do that. But we're just going to leave it as range only, um, generally speaking. But the options there if you need it. So we can add a description for customers. So spend thirty pound to get free delivery. Um, limit availability by sort order subtotal. So again, we've kind of set that in the ranges already, but you could, if you wanted to set a minimum order subtotal before this option even appears as a delivery method, I'm not going to do it here because I don't need to, because I've set it in the tiers, but you could, if you needed to. So estimated delivery date at checkout, we can leave up, we can turn it on or off, but if we turn it on, we have to just put a few bits and pieces in. So the estimated transit time is how long your carrier is going to take to deliver the parcel. So we're going to say three to five days there. Uh, order preparation time, it might take me a couple of days. So let's put two days and it will let you pick the days that you actually work and you pack orders and it lets you choose the uh, orders received pass this time on the next uh, pack orders are received pass this time on the next day so that's the day it rolls over to the next day so all of that gets calculated based on time the customer's checking out and it will give them uh, an estimated delivery date there too so it's quite useful also we can sh uh, set our shipping region if you're only shipping within the uk it's fairly straightforward and um, we could just go to advanced settings and change that to uh, the united kingdom uh, all destinations leaves as worldwide so you definitely want to change it to something else if you're not shipping it worldwide or don't want to offer free delivery um but and also you can do a zone on map so if you uh if you want to exclude certain areas you can do and all you're doing there is just drawing a zone on the map um, and then when your customer is checking out, it will use their address to work out whether they're in the zone or not. But again, we've got a different guide on how to do that. So I'm not going to go into too much detail. Uh, so if we save and finish there, we should be done. Yeah, there we can see there we've got our uh, custom rate. It's just showing the, the shipping rate of 0 to £5 because £5 was the most expensive delivery that I, uh, the most expensive tier that I put in there. So it will just show the entire range. And that's all there is to it. The only thing that's worth noting there is you can disable it if you want to later, um, just from the uh, from the from this bit screen here. So if we just go back, you can see now that's showing in the shipping and pickup section. That is there, so we can edit that and change any of the 
change it later if we need to. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.